Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the channel, Learn From Basics. This is Joe here, and today we're back at it with another uh, video tutorial series. Today, this is the first video of the Flutter tutorial series. Now, I specifically designed this series so uh, any beginner or kids, no matter what their age is, can follow along. And you need no programming ex a prior programming experience. This is from ground on. And that's why this course will be a bit longer. Each video in this course will be 5 to 10 minutes long. So there will be a lot of videos. And I'll try my best to post a video of the Flutter series every day. Now, let's, now this is module 1 of the Flutter series. Introduction to Flutter. In each module, we'll finish off with a really fun project or project. And I'll introduce that project uh, towards the end beginning of the module now since this is the theory module there are no projects in the theory module but don't worry this module won't be that long so without any further ado let's get right into it now what is flutter in the first place and why should you learn flutter well flutter is a tool developed by google that allows you to build native cross-platform apps such as ios android windows mac linux with just one programming language and code paste. Now in here, instead of saying Windows, Mac, Linux, just take it as web. So now that's a really big sentence or statement. How about we break that down into three separate parts? Let's dive into the first part. Flutter is a tool developed by Google. So yes, Flutter is a tool or an SDK developed by Google, which is one of the reasons I like it so much because it's developed by Google, and it was developed in 2018. So it's fairly, uh, it's a fairly new uh, program, programming language or SDK that has been released. But no worries, there's a really large growing community and the Flutter, and Flutter, the Flutter team is great. There's a website called pub.dev with many, uh, many widgets or modules or packages that you can use. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, but all I'm saying is there are many people using Flutter right now so don't worry because you might be like, well, it's so new. Can I find resources, resources and et cetera? Because it's one of the fastest growing programming languages in the world. And it's pretty much, uh, and there are some advantages to it that its competitors don't have like uh, Swift or Co Kotlin and et cetera, or React.js. And we'll talk about that in our next video where we compare Flutter and these amazing uh, app development SDKs. Now, the second part of her statement states that this SDK or tool allows you to build native cross-platform apps in iOS, Android, and web. Now, what does native cross-platform apps mean? Well, let's break that word into several words. We have native cross-platform. Now, cross-platform means among multi multiple platforms. Now, a native application is an app whose code is specifically designed for the uh, for the operating system it's running on, so it's not being wrapped around uh, a web browser or something like that. It's specifically designed for that, so you can launch it in uh, the and in the Android Store or the uh, Apple Play Store. It's specifically designed for that, and Flutter actually allows you to write or build native cross-platform apps or build apps with code specifically designed for their operating system. Now, these are the three platforms that Flutter runs on. Apple, Android, and uh, the web. Now, here's my honest opinion. You cannot, there's no such thing as a uh, native cross-platform cross app, uh, SDK, that does not have some cons. Now, don't get me wrong. Flutter works amazing when it comes to app development. So you can build amazing and beautiful apps that embrace the difference between uh, iOS and Android, but that's only for iOS and Android. When it comes to web development using Flutter, to be honest, it's not that good. Now, if you're expecting to write, uh, write some code that will work on iOS, Android, and the web, I'm sorry to let your hopes down, but that will just not work. Now, if you're planning to write some code that works on Apple and Android, you're perfectly fine because that's what it was designed for. But the web, on the other hand, Flutter is not that quite good of it. 
and we'll sh and I'll show you that at the end of each of our projects, where our application will look amazing when we're on the uh, simulator, the mobile simulator, but it will look terrible when it's on the web. So, if you want to make an application that runs on Apple and Android and the web, here's what I would recommend. I would recommend learning Flutter to uh, create your applications as like not the web app, but for iOS and Android. But I would recommend for you to learn HTML, CSS, and J JS for web development. Because to be honest, even if you have the sore purpose of developing web, uh, uh, like websites and not these applications, then I'm telling you this is not the course for you. Just don't learn uh, how to. Uh, just learn learn how Flutter to build websites. Learn it to build apps. Now, I also said that Flutter works with just one programming language and code base. A programming language, you know what it is. It's a language. Uh, it's a type of language used to communicate between humans and computer. And a code base is basically the code that you write. So all of the code that you write is a code base. And the programming language that uh, Flutter uses is Dart. A programming language developed by Google for this reason exactly and dart is kind of like C it's a programming language that has strongly typed syntax so yes you have to uh, uh, when you're declaring a variable you have to give it the type and then you also have to add semicolons but if you don't know what dart is and if you don't know what programming languages are don't worry we'll go through this from the beginning and I do have a video on what programming languages are and so please check them and I also have a video on compiler versus interpreter so go ahead and check those too and the code editor we'll be using is visual studio code as it is one of the best code editors uh that 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 exists in my opinion now i like now flutter it runs very well on android studio as well but i just feel like visual studio has a better ui all of the icons and everything just look better so i'll also tell you how to set up flutter slash dart on Visual Studio Code because it's not developed for that, but we'll set it up for that. But you can also use Android Studio. Now, here's something I want to tell you. Flutter is an SDK, not a quote unquote tool. It's an SDK or a software development kit. Now, what the Flutter SDK does is you come, you give the Flutter SDK your Dart code. And as I said, Flutter allows you to uh, create clock cross-platform native apps so when you process when you send flutter the flutter sdk your code what it does is it compiles the code into two separate code bases one specifically specifically for apple one specifically for android so it's not like you use the same code instead it rewrites your code into two specific or different code bases oops okay so I'm sorry for that, but an SDK is a software development kit and Flutter is an SDK. And as I said, when you give it your code, it compiles the code into two different uh, code bases. So it can, it compiles it into a code base that's native to Apple and a code base that's natal, native to Android. Now that's basically the gist of Flutter. And the reason Flutter is so popular is for this exact reason. If you were to develop an uh, app that you want both Android and iOS users to use, you would have to first write an application or an Android app in a in something like Swift or Kotlin. Oh, you would have to write it in Android Studio using Java or Kotlin to develop an Android app, and then you'd have to go through your design for the Android app and painstakingly redesign that exactly in iOS. And sometimes they look nothing like the same. So it doesn't give you quite good user experience. For example, there might be the app might be better on iOS than Android or vice versa. But Flutter, on the other hand, allows you to either embrace the difference between both of these platforms and or have the exact same app. So you don't have to bother with writing two different code bases. You just have to write one code base and voila, you have two apps that you can publish on two different uh, two different uh, softwares. Now, again, as I said, that's the basics of Flutter. In our next video, we're going to talk about widgets and widget trees. Now, again, as I said, this is module one. And if you like this video, please do like and share it so your other friends can also get into app development. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments section, as I would love 
to review them or answer them. I have all usable or useful links down in the description, along with the one that explains to you what a programming language is and the difference between a compiler and an interpreter. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when part two or the second uh, video in this module pops out. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.